Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on our ISTQB AI tester certification. We are in chapter two talking about quality characteristics for AI based systems and we'll be continuing ahead with our next segment on this chapter today, which is 2.3 evolution and 2.4 bias. In order to talk about evolution, evolution as the word certainly recommends us to understand that evolution is all about a product evolving over a period of time. Now, the evolution of AI based systems are slightly different in terms of, you know, other web or mobile based applications. Now, evolution in this syllabus or from an AI perspective is considered to be the ability of the system to improve itself in response to changing external constraints. Some AI systems can be described as self-learning and successful self-learning AI-based systems need to incorporate this form of evolution. Now, generally, we are just trying to tell you that the evolution is basically transforming uh, themselves, like the AI-based systems, when they improve itself due to, you know, making any kind of changes to an external constraint, which could be a factor, customization, or changes to their operational environment, and they start behaving differently due to this upgrade or changeover, is what we call it as evolution. And the other part of it is, of course, the self-learning AI-based systems, which adapts on their own and keep upgrading themselves and start making decisions differently according to the adaptation. Now, that evolution is what we are referring to. AI-based systems often operate in an evolving environment as with other forms of ID system. Now, an AI-based system needs to be flexible and adaptable enough to cope up with the changes in the operational environment as well. Now, put together, an AI-based system is not something which retains the same kind of information or same kind of responses over a period of time. At some point of time, it needs an upgradation too, and the changes would be done. Now, these changes would request or require the AI-based system to behave according to the latest updates or the new configurations or environment changes. Now, self-learning AI-based systems typically need to manage two forms of changes. One, where one form of change is where the system learns from its own decisions and its interaction with its environment. And the other form of change is where the system learns from the changes made to the system's operational environment. Now, for an example, uh, if I talk about the first form of transformation or learning uh, on from its own decisions, is all about, uh, could be about the face recognition or face ID of your cell phones today. No matter you're talking about uh, the iPhones or and Androids and they offer you the face ID unlock to the phone. Have you ever wondered that your face is not exactly the same no matter how long you have been using the phone for? You keep changing your uh, face look and of course you keep changing your kind of shaves what you have. Again, I'm talking about the boys um, who have different mustaches, different beard and uh, in, in, in fact, you know, over a period of time your face does not retain exactly the same property. Sometimes you glow up, sometimes you have uh, kind of like a bigger face, swollen up, sometimes you're thin enough, right, as you keep working out. Now the point is, how does an, a phone basically detect that your face is not exactly the same than when you created the face ID? For an example, in my phone, I created my face ID kind of like five years ago, and things are still working absolutely fine. So point here is that the AI system working behind this screen is capturing your movement, capturing the changes on your face every single day. Now, every single day, the system is trying to capture the transformation on its own and trying to adapt that what are you looking like today? And in that context, they're able to even judge when you open your, uh, unlock your phone in different lighting conditions. For example, during the sunlight or dark modes, or even in your room temperature, or you know, in the shade, in the dark, a little lot of varieties of options, and the system is busy capturing every single instance of lighting and situation and learning on its own to decide, hey, if anything like this happens, I know how to unlock the phone, right? For example, today, I, if, you, if I wear a transparent glasses, the AI system understands here that it's him it's just with the glasses. So it, it kind of like learn every single step one or two times and the third time it just opens without a blink. 
On the other hand, the other form of change when we say it's learned from the changes made to the operational environment, when you upgrade few other things like operating system, all right? Or you pass on an external change to a particular system. In that context, what happens? You are telling, you are upgrading the AI-based system to do something beyond. So for a simple example that this, this image was, or an AI-based system was eligible to identify cats and dogs, like just cats, probably you're just adding more features and now this is capable enough to identify dogs as well. So in both cases, the system will ideally evolve to improve its effectiveness and efficiency. However, the evolution must be constrained to prevent the system from developing any unwanted characteristics. At the same time, when we're talking about the self-learning AI-based systems, we must control these systems to go beyond the extent and start behaving and, you know, presenting unwanted characteristics, which is not recommended. Any evolution must continue to meet the original system requirements and constraints where these are lacking. The system must be managed to ensure that any evolution remains within the limit and that it always stays aligned with the human values. Also in future, we'll be talking about different examples relating to the impact of side effects and rewarding hacking on uh, self-learning AI-based systems. On the other hand, today we are also talking about what is bias and how exactly it is defined for AI-based systems. In simple terms, bias is a defect in AI-based system which is just the deviation between the expected and the actual result from an AI-based system. So in simple terms, when you do the testing, you say that there's an expected result of a particular test case and there's an actual output what you receive from the application. If they both are same, it means your system is working as expected, but if they're different, that's what this deviation and you call them as defects. Now here it is called as bias. In the context of AI-based systems, bias is a statistical measure of distance between the outputs provided by the system and what are considered to be fair outputs, which shows no favoritism to a particular group. Inappropriate biases can be linked to attributes such as gender, race, ethn ethnicity, sexual orientation, income level, and age. Which is like, again, these are all the attributes which here the AI-based systems can find difficult to differentiate between. Now, cases of inappropriate bias in AI-based system have been reported, for example, in systems used for making recommendation for banking, bank lending, in recruitment systems, and in judicial monitoring systems. Bias can be introduced into many types of AI-based systems. For example, it is also difficult to prevent the bias of expert being built into the rules applied by an expert system. However, the prevalence of ML system means that much of the discussion relating to bias takes place in the context of these systems. Point is that we must make use of these kind of differentiations in a positive way to help a build kind of differentiators to make bold decisions or to the point decisions as well. Now, ML systems are basically used to decision, uh, used, used to make decisions and predictions using algorithms, which make use of collected data. And these two components can introduce bias in the results as well. That is, algorithm bias can occur when the learning algorithm is incorrectly configured. For example, when it overvalues some data compared to others, the source of bias can be caused and managed by the hyperparameter tuning of the ML algorithm, which we will be talking in chapter three anyhow, that what exactly these ML algorithms are and what does it do in context of uh, determining the bias and how does it help. And also sample bias can occur when the training data is not fully representative of the data space to which the ML is applied. Now again, there are ML models which might not be uh, kind of like trained in a perfect manner. They may have uh, not exactly the right outputs and they might be deviating. So the root causes generally starts with the foundation, which is the algorithm and architecture of ML models, which contributes to the behavior of AI-based system. And certainly the deviation observes are due to the lack of training information or the lack of uh, incorrect configurations of these ML models. So put together, 
ML model training and configuration, including algorithms, are playing a vital role to the behavior of AI-based system. So that's all from today's tutorial team. We'll be covering more context about the same in our upcoming tutorials, so stay tuned for that. That's all from this particular video. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.